Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I got 20 ounces again. Um, the temperature of the water, 79 degrees. I'm filling up my empty pot. up of the burner real quick before I set that on there and start my timer. You can hear the uh, burner and you can see the flames there. Okay. Maybe from this angle it'll be even better. Nope. There you go. Pretty good view of the flames there. Alright, so we're setting the pot on the flame. Close the lid and we'll wait for, I guess we'll just wait for bubbles because otherwise, I mean it comes to a boil but uh, it, it doesn't seem to ever get to 200 or whatever, it gets to about 160 and it's boiling on the inside so um starting to bubble inside. Uh, you need to be close to uh, be able to hear it. You can hear that bubbling. It's kind of like a rattling sound. You can see the flames. It's bubbling the water inside and it's creating moisture on the bottom from the hydrogen flame. So we're getting accumulation of like dew droplets on the bottom of the pan. And in the middle of that pan, the pan being a huge base, which would be great for heat transfer if it was on a hot plate, but terrible for heat transfer the way that I have this um, flame set up, we're going to be concentrating a lot of heat in a small area in that big vessel so uh, you know it's going to be a little harder to boil the entire thing right now we're at two two, two and a half minutes let's see if I can get a peek inside here I don't know well there's steam coming out right now So, I, I don't know. I don't know if that's boiling in there or not. I think it is. Um, you know, it started, it started um, popping at about one and a half minutes. And now we're at three minutes. And uh, it's popping pretty loud and there's a lot of uh, steam. 
rising up out of there. Um, let me see if I can get a Side, but at 120 degrees, we're getting water vapor out the top. But I can't see down inside. Maybe it's possible to see. I'm not sure what you can see from up there because I'm not that tall. But we're at four minutes. You probably can't even see that, huh? It's popping and cracking. Uh, four minutes, three, five, almost five minutes. Now let's get a reading when that says five minutes. It says 128 there. One thirty-five or so inside. And we're at point. At five and a half minutes. It's not uh it's not at a rolling boil. But it's definitely popping and crackling. I guess we'll uh, wait and see how long it takes to get to a rolling boil of the base. You see the um, the heat is, is localized in the center in a semicircle and not really able to spread out evenly over the whole surface, which would make that a lot more efficient uh, heat transfer. So. We're at eight minutes. Um, the flame seems to be very stable. I'm not having very much um, fluctuation in the flames. There's some fluctuation, but not enough to uh, worry about at all. Um, we're still running eight amps, 12.26 volts. And it's kind of hard to see that because it's fogged up, but about 23 amps over there so we're still right at 30 amps uh, 12 and a half volts so you know we're still under our 400 uh, watts our goal is 400 watts to heat 16 ounces of water in five minutes um, I'm heating 20 ounces it's nine minutes at one minute into it, I began to get the uh, the sound of bubbling water. Let's see what we got now. It's hot, but I don't see it. 150. I can hear it, but I can't see it bubbling in there. 